Ile mchezo inachezwa kule Europa. Hizi bendi are in Kenya. Hao wanaume wako hapa Kenya. Wanatazama kupitia runinga. They have never shaken the hand of any of those players. Hawajaisalimia kwa mkono hata mmoja wa hao wachezaji. No, they have never physically shaken any hand of those players that are in that stadium. ولكنهم <laughs> <laughs> Kama huu 
kuomba hadi maksudi ya Mungu yatendeke. And then there are times we have to force ourselves away from media. Kuna wakati lazima tujilazimishe tutoke kwa mambo ya vyombo vya habari. If sit before media the whole day, the last thing you hear before you go to sleep is from the television. Ukikaa kwa mambo ya habari siku nzima, na kitu ya mwisho unasikia kabla hujaenda kula na kutoka kwa runinga. About what you have said, what 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 Mungu who has said what. Kuhusu nani amesema hivi, nani amesema hivi. It's a way that thing can work over your spirit. Kuna kitu sababu hilo jambo linazofanya kazi katika roho yako. Sometimes propaganda can be propagated through those television. Wakati mwingine propaganda inaweza kupitishwa kupitia hizo runinga. Sometimes there is a way the enemy can, can be able to throw things in your spirit through those things that we hear. Kuna wakati mwingine shetani anazarusha mtu katika roho yetu kupitia vile ambavyo tunasikia. I encourage you to listen to news. Na bibiza usikilize habari. I encourage you to be well and to be well of God's going on around us. Ina bibiza ujue kabisa anatendeka kwa sasa karibu nasi. Psalms that three was 12. Zaburi 33 mstari wa 12. But as much as we be a, a, a conversant with the kind of affairs lakini hata tukiwa tunajua sana mambo yanayotendeka kwa sasa we need to go higher in the spirit nahitaji kwenda juu zaidi katika roho my talk to kenyans je naongelesha wa kenya kweli if you are a real kenyan and you are following say hallelujah 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 nani hadao amen follow news say more and more the truth tusikate tabaka kwa maombi ama tusema ura tumemaliza let's not kind of say this is my man Oh this is my man this that I say this is our nation and we need to pray God's purpose is to be done to say we are not to wait and we are not to wait but at some point in time we need to be able to make the decision to be able to we saw in Philippians 3 verse 20 to live under God's power Philippi 3:20 our real citizenship is in heaven when yet we are not our real wetu kwa mbinguni let us look at the year for a season Wacha tujue kama tuko hapa tu kwa muda. Our citizenship is in heaven. Uraia wetu alishi uko mbinguni. But as we relate to the affairs of this world, tunaposhughulika na kusema mambo ya dunia hii, we must never forget to know that we are dealing with principalities, with powers, with rulers, with the spirit of wickedness in heavenly spheres. Israeli kama kusema kwamba tunakabiliana na mamlaka na kabiliana na nguvu za giza na watawala wa giza katika upeo wa rohoni. Having said that, let's read this once uh, and make some two three prayer points before we share the holy communion. Tukisha sema haya tuseme hili neno la kushiriki mpige ruini mitatu la kushiriki meza ya Bwana. If you are following yourself, amen. Amen. Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord. The people he has chosen as his own inheritance. May God bless this nation. Heri taifa pale Bwana ni Mungu wao. Wacha leo wachagua kwa urithi wake. Bwana abariki taifa hili. The Lord looks from heaven. He sees all the sons of men. Toka bibuni Bwana hutungulia watazama wanadamu wote pia. The Lord looks from heaven. Toka bibuni Bwana hutungulia. And he sees all sons of men. Watazama wanadamu wote pia. As for this says from the place of his dwelling he looks on all the inhabitants of the earth toka mahali paka ketipo huangalia wote wakao duniani he fashions their hearts individually he considers all their works he ayumbai nyo yao wote usifikiri kazi zao zote he considers their works usifikiri kazi zao zote no king is saved by the multitude of an army Hapana pale maabukae kwa wingi wa uweso. A mighty man is not delivered by great strength. Wala shujaa haukoki kwa wingi wa nguvu. A horse is a very hope for safety. Neither shall it deliver any by its great strength. Bara si afai kitu kwa wokovu wala hamponye mtu kwa wingi wa nguvu zake. Behold the eyes of the Lord is upon those who fear him on those who hope in his mercy tazama jicho la bwana liko kwa mchao wazikojao fadhili zake to deliver their soul from death and to keep them alive in famine or in calamities or during troubled times yeye huwaponya nafsi zao na mauti 
na kuwaisha wakati wa njaa our soul waits for the lord he is our help and our shield nafsi zetu zinamngoja bwana yeye ndiye msaada wetu na ngao yetu so our heart shall rejoice in him because we have trusted in his holy name maana ndio yetu tamfurahia kwa kuwa tumelitumainia jina lake takatifu let your mercy o lord be upon us just as we hope in you Eh bwana fadhili zako zikae nasi kama vile tulivyo kungwa cha wewe. Bible says verse 18 because of time let's read from verse 18. Then the same of the book and I'm sorry I can't to read here hapo. Behold the eyes of the Lord is upon I mean is on those who fear him on those who hope in his mercy. Tazama kitu la bwana ni kwa wa mchao wazingoje yao fadhili zake. Right sitting like that let's raise some part of our hearts up God's mercy over this nation. Kama tumeketi hapo tunajua mkono mmoja tuulize Bwana afanye ziwe juu ya taifa hili. Let the Lord have mercy over Kenya. Wacha Bwana rehemu Kenya. Oh Lord we are the people of this nation. We are the people of this
Alléluia. Alléluia. I'm saying Alléluia. I say Alléluia. Plus your eyes raise the both hands to Him. My Father, we thank you for this word. But we are giving us this evening to pray. Even over our nation. At the Lord is with us as a nation. Even as we pray for the Lord is with us as a mighty and awesome one. Therefore, our blessed Judas. Wherever they are. Wherever. Wherever they may be, our pastors do this with stumble. And we not prevail. Whatever schemes they are planning against us, and the schemes that want to frustrate the will of God, secret things going on in demonic bedrooms under the sea. Let there be everlasting confusion. Where everlasting confusion will not be forgotten. Oh Lord, we pray this evening. As we take this holy communion, we pray that there be confusion in the church. Let 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 there be confusion in the church. Enemies of God's agenda. Enemies of democracy. And other let there be confusion in their camp. As we take this holy communion, we declare confusion in the camps of the enemies of this nation. Wherever they gather, somebody say, let there be confusion. Let there be confusion. I'm not hearing you. Let there be confusion. It's very easy to wonder. Let there be confusion. Wherever they gather. Let there be confusion. Enemies of this nation. Let there be confusion. Under the waters. Let there be confusion. Wherever they gather. Let there be confusion. On the land. Let there be confusion. In the second heavens. Let there be confusion. In rivers and lakes. Let there be confusion. Under the oceans. Let there be confusion. Wherever they gather. To program bloodshed, let there be confusion. To cause confusion in the land, let there be confusion. In the camp of our enemies, let there be confusion. In the camps of the free nations, let there be confusion. In the camp of the devil worshippers, let there be confusion. In the camps of the antichrists, let there be confusion. This agents of bloodshed, let there be confusion. Wherever they gather, let there be confusion. We declare confusion.
Kwa kila lesu tunaomba. Shout amen. Amen.